stream. Today we're going to do some more roster editing and we're probably going to do a GM mode at some point. But, but uh, to start, we're going to be um, editing some lines for now. So, uh, we're going to do non-playoff teams because I want to wait till the playoffs have gotten underway a little bit. Um, just to make sure that um, I take into consideration some of the playoff performances so I can affect like poise and stuff. So that's just something I wanted to consider. But starting with Arizona, we're going to be making some changes. Wait, no, we already did Arizona. What am I saying? Starting with Buffalo. <laughs> we're going to be making some changes to their lineup. Um, ooh, just got to wish someone happy birthday. One second. Just got to wish someone a happy birthday. <laughs> I won't say because uh, I'm not sure they feel comfortable not being named on the stream. So I won't say it, but it's my my buddy's girlfriend. I won't say her name, but um, happy birthday to her. And I wish her happy birthday on Facebook after. So, uh, starting with Jack Eichel. I think his overall is fair. <laughs> He's obviously a really good player. So, I'll, I'm using NHL.com for the points. I kind of wish I, I used some advanced analytics for to, to rate some players. But... <clears throat> I'm not going to do that simply because Risto83. Hey, welcome back, Iconic Brothers. I didn't see that you had joined. Welcome back, my friend. How did you, did you watch the Habs game today? It was it was something, I'll tell you that. It was something. It was definitely something. <laughs> um, there you go, puck control passing. This dude's really good. That goes a really good player. Just trying to reflect that. Maybe lowers defensive awareness, upgrades to offense. Toronto actually looks good. Actually took good shots. Yeah, they took better shots today. I'm not blaming. Oh, durability is going down. I'm not blaming Carey Price today at all, though. Um, Carey player. Carey Price literally is the only reason why I wasn't like ten nothing today. So, there's that. Uh, I upgraded Jack Eichel because he's literally their entire team. So yeah, Rasmus. Honestly, uh, Rasmus Dahlin. Rasmus Dahlin. He had a 23-point season. I think 86 is a little high. I'm going to leave him at a OFD, though. Yeah, I think he's, I'm going to put him down to 84. I think he did have a rough season this year. Um, he didn't get injured, though, I don't think, eh? He's pretty healthy. 84, okay, that's BS. What? Bro, <laughs> yo, 85 versus 84 is like next to no difference. Nobody on Buffalo is good. Yeah, I agree. That's why I'm lowering them. I'm not going to lower his offensive stats. Whoa, that's a lot. What the hell? Okay, yo. Like, I'm not giving him 90 defensive awareness. Like, what the hell? I'm not making him 83. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just... I'm not, don't worry, he's not going to be an 83, don't worry, that's that's, that's too low, I, I, I agree that's too low. I was just lowering his defensive awareness because everyone was bad and he's a minus 36. Uh, wait, what the hell? Um, <laughs> what the hell? Um, so, don't worry, don't worry, I'm boosting his offensive stats, okay? Just, just hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, bear with me for two seconds, okay? Um, boosting his offensive stats a little bit, he's a good skater, very good skater, very good puck moving defenseman. Just a bad team. One, two. Oh, <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Uh, 84 speed. Uh, yo, EA Sports is disrespecting them. I think I think this is fair. I think that was fair. I made him offensive defenseman um, because he's not very defensively responsible. So there we go. Victor Olofsson is going to be looked at next. He had a 32 point season, which is a 0.57 point per game pace um let's see what that amounts to in a regular season um 0.57 is a 40 47 point season puts him around an 83 so <clears throat> downgrade for him keep 85 or 86 i mean if i'm following what my stats tell me to do i would be downgrading him right now but i'll leave him as is i'm not going to boost his potential though i don't think he's going to cap out much higher than what he is right now um Sam Reinhardt can stay. He had a pretty good end of the year. I might even boost him a little bit. 0.74. <clears throat> In 82 games, is a 61-point season. 
I think he's fine where he is. No, I'm going to leave Sam. He was a beast at the end of the year. I'm going to leave him where he is. Jake McCabe. Jake McCabe. Um, where's he at? Wasn't he injured all year, Jake McCabe? Yo, what's up, Candy? We got the... <clears throat> my goodness, my voice died. We got the boys back together. We got the, the, the three amigos back together again. I'm going to leave Jake McCabe because he was injured all year. I'm going to boost his potential a little bit. He was injured all year. You can't really judge him. Can't really judge him off that. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's a good stay-at-home defenseman, but uh, I'm not sure of his play style. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna leave him as that. Risto's fine at an 82. He had a really bad year, although he's injured as well. Last time I was here, you did the Canucks, and your nephew was going insane. Yes, he was. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, Colin Miller. <clears throat> Had a pretty bad year, but I'll leave him at an 81. Gergensons. Honestly, honestly, EA Sports lowered everybody pretty well. Casey Mills had a point every other game. I'm going to boost him a little bit. But uh, EA Sports lowered everyone pretty well, actually. Unless maybe I did this in another video. Maybe I'm losing my mind a little bit. But <laughs> maybe I forgot that I already downgraded Buffalo. But uh, I just boosted Casey Millsat's offensive stats because they were really bad before. Any uh, any player types that need to be changed, do you think? Um, Up Cousins, maybe? Where is he? 78? Uh, let me look at his points. Tage Thompson had more points than I thought he did. Good for him. Dylan, yeah, he only had 13 points. He was a minus 15. I'm going to leave... I'm gonna leave, yeah, I'm gonna leave Dylan Cousins as is. I'll let him, do, he always develops in this game. He's fine. Uh, Linus Ulmark, let's look at their goalies. As far as I remembered, Linus Ulmark had a good year, didn't he? Like, he was their only bright spot, I thought. Ulmark down? Oh, the dude put up a 917. The dude, he put up a 917 on, on Buffalo. Guys, I'm sorry, but I think, I think uh, you're in the, he was a rookie. Linus Ulmark's not a rookie. No, I'm, I'm upgrading him. Yeah, easily. Linus Lomark was a 917, guys. Like, this is... If I am if I don't upgrade him more than this, this is, this is almost a, an insult to the guy. He was a... Yeah, exactly. I'm going to give him an 86. 86 high starter. I'm giving him high starter because, like, he won't grow or anything. It's, it doesn't make a difference, but... Yeah. Okay. Yo, he had, he had a 917 on Buffalo. And yeah, Cousins was a rookie. That's off the top. What's off the top? All right, Carter Hutton. Carter Hutton had an 886. This, guy, this guy's not an NHL. <laughs> Guys, Carter Hutton went 1, 10, and 1. Oh my god, dude. This guy ain't an NHL caliber goalie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he went 110-1 on an 889, but he only played 20 games. Yeah, he was, he was injured, though. That's why. It's because he was injured. Yeah, I know. That's why I lowered Hutton, dude. <laughs> he had a bad year. Um, bro, I'm sorry. You put up a... He, he had nine wins on the Buffalo... He had a winning record on the Buffalo Sabres. That's impressive. That's very impressive. The poor guy was left out the dry every night. All right. Uh, Calgary, another non-playoff team. The Sabres won like two games without Allmark in that. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Dylan Dubé, okay, before you guys start screaming about Dylan Dubé being too high in overall, if you ha I don't think you guys have seen my franchise modes, but what I do after every franchise mode is I name an MVP, and I boost that MVP to what their ending overall and potential was. So... That's why Dylan Dubé is so boosted because I did a Calgary Flames GM mode. I won't spoil anything, but Dylan Dubé ended up being the MVP, so that's why he's boosted. So <clears throat> don't uh, don't don't put too much. Uh, don't make, don't think that I want him as an 89 based on his play. It's based on how he played for me in my franchise mode. Um, all right. Okay. Well, here I'll look at I'll look at Linus Allmark's. Let me look at Linus Allmark's points. I mean the stats from last year. The man had a 9.15 last year. He had a 9.05 the year before, a 9.35 the year before that. He's a good goalie. 
He's a career 912. He's fine. He's fine as is. <clears throat> All right, so Calgary. Let's move on to Calgary. Let's move on to Calgary. Let's start with their goalies because I already have the goalie stats open. Jacob Markstrom had a 904. A 904. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why he's on a low starter, but I'm not going to downgrade him. Why is his consistency a zero? What? Anyway, 86 is fair. <clears throat> he only had a 904. It's a pretty weak Lindholm up. Yeah, I'll look at his stats in a second. Yeah, I downed Markstrom. I, I boost his potential because, like, low starter is a little unjust, but 86 seems fair to me. Louis Domingue barely played. I'm not even going to look at him. He played one game. Uh, all right, let's move on to the forwards. Once again, don't pay any attention to Dylan Dubé. He's just like that because of the... <laughs> He's a 78. He's fine. He only played one game. He's a 78 with high backup potential. He ain't going anywhere. Don't worry. Don't worry. Johnny Goudreau had a good year. What the heck? 0. 0.88 times 82. He has he had a 72 point pace. So Goudreau honestly earned his overall. So I'll leave that. Matthew Kachuk. 63 point seasons around an 85 by my standards, but he brings a lot more than just points. So I think he earned his overall. Sean Monahan is going to be downgraded. Yeah. I'm going to downgrade Sean Monaghan. I'm sorry, but he wasn't the same Sean Monaghan they, that you expect. I'm sure a lot of Calgary fans will agree with that. Up uh, Manjapani, yeah, I, I'm definitely a big Mon Manjapani. But I think a lot of Calgary fans are going to agree that uh, that Sean Monaghan wasn't the same player as he always is. I think 85 is fair. Sean Monaghan wasn't the same player uh, that he always is. Um, so Matt, oh, pff, yeah, Manjapani. <laughs> Manjapani, dude, he's being upgraded. He's, he had a 0.57 point pace. So that's around like an 83. I'll give him about an 83. And that's fair. He's pretty fast, right? Tyson Berry. <laughs> Tyson Berry had a good year. Like that. I think that's fair for offense. And then, <clears throat> I think that's quite fair for Manjapani. And I'm going to make him a medium top six. <clears throat> I think that's quite fair. Like his, his advanced stats, like his, his offensive stats are really good. And he's going to grow, right? So I think that's fair. Um... Yup, Manjapani was Calgary's MVP. Yeah, he was pretty good. All the, honestly, though, guys, don't sleep on Goudreau. He had 49 points. He had a good year. Don't sleep on Goudreau. Um, Elias Lindholm had a good year. Yeah, I'm definitely upping him. Definitely upping him. This is what you expect out of uh, Elias Lindholm. This is, the this is the kind of season you expect out of Elias Lindholm, honestly. Idiot face-offs. Yeah, you get a 51%. I'll, I'll give him like an 85. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. I think that's more than fair for Lindholm. I think 88 is more than fair for Elias Lindholm. Because keep in mind, like the Calgary didn't make the playoffs. Like I don't want to boost them too high to the point where they make the playoffs in the game. Uh, Giordano earned his overall. I'm going to leave Giordano. He earned his overall. Uh, Hannafin. Noah Hannafin. I... As far as I know, Hannafin had a pretty good year once, uh, once, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sutter took over. So I'm going to leave him. Derek Ryan was a plus six. Interesting. Uh, Rasmus Anderson can stay the same. Chris Tanev, Michael, Michael Backlund. 30, yeah, 32 point season. That's fair. Derek Ryan. Maybe I can upgrade Derek Ryan. What do you guys think? Nah, I think he's fine where he is. Um, Shillington. Maybe Valimaki could be upgraded. I, I heard a lot of good things about him this year. What 
What do you guys think of Valamaki? Should I upgrade Valamaki a little bit? Up Ryan? Yeah, I'll up, I'll up Derek Ryan and Valamaki. Bro, they give him like the worst accuracy I've ever seen on a shooter. Holy crap. <laughs> he had like 73 slap shot accuracy. The dude can't hit the net. Oh my god, he can net a soccer net with that shot. Poor guy, he's being gypped by EA Sports there. Yeah, I made Val Mac an 80, I think that's fair. Alright, Derek Ryan up to an 80 also is fair. Whoops. I don't really want to give him a goal celebration. I don't care enough to do that. Um, anybody else? I'm trying to see if there's any steals that should have maybe up. Connor Mackey? What about Connor Mackey? He was a point every other game. Mila Lucic, Josh Levo. I don't even see if Connor Mackey's in the game. All right, well, that's going to do it for Calgary. <laughs> Lucic to 99. Well, actually, how many points did Lucic have? 23 points. Eh, not a, nothing crazy. Well, actually, it's, a, yeah, it's about an 81 overall. It's better than a 78. I'll give him that. He had, some, he had 23 points this year. I'll boost him a little bit. I'm not boosting his speed, though. 99 body checking. Puck control, he's he's actually okay. His accuracy is actually not bad. Um, strength, 99. Balance is not 99. I've seen him get hit a few times this year. Um, <laughs> aggressiveness, 92. Shot blocking up there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Maybe, like... Like 85. Yeah, I think that's fair. 81 overall, Milan Lucic. There you go. Let's see Milan Lucic, baby. Let's go. Uh, there you go. I think that's fair. I think that's fair for Calgary. We're not doing Carolina because they made the playoffs. I want to save those for maybe another stream. Let's move on to Columbus. I don't think we edited Columbus yet. I'm not going to really touch Line A mainly because... Of the uh, what you call it, the uh, Tortorella effect. So there's that. Oliver Bjorkstrand had a 65 point pace. Wow. In a regular season, wow. This guy's good. This guy can shoot the puck. Or kind of. All right, 86 overall for Bjorkstra, I think is more than fair. Uh, up Roslovic, 82. I'm making him a playmaker. There's no way he's staying as a sniper, I mean, as a two-way. That That's one thing for sure. Endurance is being upgraded. Puck control, passing. Bro, why is why are you EA Sports, bro? Why are his offensive stats so bad? Yeah, exactly. I agree. I'm not going to boost him to that because we don't know. We really don't know. Oh, my. Jack Ross, Jack Russell, they can't win a faceoff for his life. Uh, deking, aggressiveness, that's all fine. Deking, maybe. I'll, no, that's fine. Offense awareness. Maybe I'll downgrade defense awareness. Something like that. 84. 85 overall for Jack Roslovic. <clears throat> Make this kid a playmaker because, I mean, he ain't, he ain't no two way forward. Let's be real. At least not in uh, <laughs> at least not in Columbus. Max Domi's being downgraded. Oh wait, he already got downgraded. Cam Atkinson. I mean, uh, he's he's fine where he is. Line A eighty six is gonna stay like that. These guys are good at the way they are. Honestly, I want to upgrade Seth Jones, but I won't. Zach Wierenski had a good year, but I will leave him like that. I'm right. Ooh, I'm right. Oh my gosh. I never thought I'd hear the words. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. I never thought I'd hear those words on the internet. Uh, up Texier. How did he have in, in terms of the years? 15 points. Eh, he's fine the way he is. He had 15 points. Nothing crazy. He'll grow. Don't worry. He'll grow. He'll grow. Nah, 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 they didn't make. They weren't even close to the playoffs. These guys. All right, they're goaltending. They're they're goaltending. Let's go. Columbus. What are we looking at in Columbus for goalie, for goalies? Uh, Jonas Corpusal had an 890. Bro, you lost the starting role, man. 
Bro, you had 894. Yeah, I know. He only had 15 points. I know, I know. I like, trust me, I, I've seen Texier play. I really like his game. I really do. I just, I can't justify upgrading him based on the way I've been doing it so far. Like, I want, like, I really want players like McDavid to be night and day compared to other players. Like, I want Mar I want Matthews to score goals. I want, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I want the stars to be stars in this game. Goaltending seemed fair. Uh... Corpusel had an 894 in 33 games. That's pretty rough. Whereas uh, Merzlikens had a pretty good record, 86. It's about this. It's literally the same situation as uh, as Allmark, where Allmark had a really good record on a really bad team. Same with Elvis. He had a really good save percentage on a really bad team. All right, Dallas. Very disappointed that Dallas missed the playoffs this year, but. It is what it is. I can't stress that enough. It just you can't do anything about it sometimes. So let's start with the goalies. Let's start with the goalies here in Dallas. Oh man. <laughs> Jake Ottinger. He's only a medium fringe. Get out of here, EA Sports. Yeah, you're right again. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this. I I'm upgrading Jake Ottinger a little bit. Up Robertson. Uh, I'll go. I'll go back. Oh, Jake, Jason Robertson. Yes, definitely gonna upgrade Jason Robertson. Don't even worry. But uh, this kid, uh, this kid, Jake Ottinger, looked good this year. Nine eleven save percentage on a pretty average team. So there you go. Eighty one overall. He has the upside. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna boost him for only twenty nine games, um, but that's good for now. Uh, ben Bishop was injured all year, correct? Ben Bishop was injured all year, I think. I'm going to downgrade him a little bit. But nothing too crazy because he was really good. I think I think Bishop in 86 is fair. Right? Is, is Bishop fair in 86? I'm downgrading Hudobin a little bit. Hudobin's going to be downgraded a little bit. But I'm going to boost his potential until he doesn't drop off a cliff. Um... There we go, 84. I want him around like an 83, 82. Because he's a good backup, you know what I mean? Like, Hudobin's a good backup, it's just they played him too much this year. They played him too much this year. 32 games is too much for Hudobin. He can't. He can't play that many games. It doesn't work that way. I don't know who this Bao guy is, but I like his name. All right, forwards. I almost completely forgot to do the forwards. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Hope. Hudobin's overrated. Honestly, last year he was, like, I don't know. Last year he had a really good year. But, it's, I don't know what to say, man. I just don't know what to say. He He's slightly overrated this year, I agree. Wow. Joe Pavelski got gypped this year. The man had 51 points. Pavelski was something else this year. Um, what was his face-offs like? 52%. Good job, Pavelski. Maybe up hints. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade hints probably. But Pavelski had a year to remember. My goodness. I'm. Can I change Pavelski from a two-way forward? Pavelski had 51 points in 56 games and a plus 22. Wow. Um, can I change him from a two-way forward? I'm tired of him not being good on the power play in this game. Like, I don't know what else to make it. Like, playmaker? Nah. I guess I'll leave him as a two-way forward. He's very smart defensively. He had an 18% shooting rate. Wow. Pavelski had a really good year. Tyler Sagan. Wasn't he injured all year? Oh, my God. Imagine going the year without Tyler Sagan and almost making the playoffs. I'm not changing Tyler Sagan. Wow, I can't believe they didn't have Tyler Sagan all year. Klingberg can stay as is. Alex Radulov was injured. <laughs> bro, the Dallas Stars got gypped, bro. Alex Radulov was a point per game. He was a point per game when he was in. This guy ain't dropping off soon. Honestly, Alex Radulov is a monster. 
when he came when he was in the Habs that one year when he came back from Russia, the dude is an animal. I love him so much. I wish we kept him. Honestly, I really wish we did. This guy is an animal. Aggressiveness like 99. I'm not even joking. He's an actual animal out there. Shot blocking has to be up. This guy will literally die on the ice to save his team. Like, he's so good. Um, playmaker is fair. Playmaker is fair. Honestly, Grinder fits his category too. Oh my god. I just love Alex Radulov. He's so fun to watch. Yeah, Radulov played 11 games this year and was a point per game when he did play. So, yo, they're going to be good. They're going to be good when... Uh... Yeah, I'm a Habs fan. Yeah, today was rough. Today was a rough day. Toronto really handed it to us today. Made me really sad. Although the power, the penalties was, were stupid, but I won't comment. Because I don't want to blame the refs. We just didn't have discipline today. 0.67 point per game for Jamie Benn. 55 point pace for Ben. 84 overall. I know he's, he's fine where he is, I guess. Gurianov, fine where he is. Hints? Hints is a point per game. Yo! Dallas, bro. Yo, Dallas, man. Yeah, Price is playing so well. If it wasn't for injuries, bro, Dallas was a good team. What the hell? Oh my god. I didn't realize how good Dallas was. What is this shit? <laughs> Who knew Dallas was this good? Uh, Faceoffs? What are your 56? Oh, that's not you. 49%. Alright, you're on an 80. Maybe not even like 78. Durability gets downgraded. DK. Like, Rupe Hens is. My goodness. Dallas Stars, you poor. You poor thing, Dallas. You poor thing. Okay, Rupe Hens is literally a, a playmaker. I love the way this kid plays. All right, poor Dallas, dude. My God, the amount of injuries that screwed them over. Well, they did go to the cup final. Yeah, I agree with you. So they got to be somewhat good. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you there. Jason Dickinson is getting robbed. EA Sports has him at a two-way forward. Pfft, get out of here. Bro, I'm so sick of seeing all these players just be automatically given two-way forward status because they don't know what to do. They're like, hmm, he could be a few things. Let's just make him a two-way forward <clears throat> just for fun. Just because. <clears throat> My voice is dying. Holy crap. Alright. 72 point pace, bro. This guy's so good. Dallas, bro. What, how do you not make the playoffs with this team? My god. Why? Well, actually, we already answered that. It's called injuries. But, uh... This kid can shoot the puck. I saw him play. He's a good player. EA is just lazy. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Jason Robertson was a 71% on faceoffs. There's no way he took that many faceoffs, right? <laughs> Aggressiveness, <clears throat> poise. I don't. Well, we've never seen him in the playoffs. Shot support. Uh, hand I'll put up there. Offense awareness I'll put up there. I think 86 is a little early. Is 86 a little too early for him? Like, was I too quick to give him an 86 overall? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. He was a point per game, pretty much. 45 points in 51 games. Holy crap. Uh, Miro Heiskinen. Yeah, he's fine where he is. Guryanov, Lindell. He almost took first in Calder race. I wish he did. Yeah, I know. I know. Sammy Vatnin, was he good? I don't think so. Ty Delandria was okay. Sakara had a good plus minus. Joel Hanley was okay. I'm trying to see if there's any like little little players in here that were really good. Okay, Radic Fax had a bad year, but wait. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. <laughs> I am the... I am so dumb. I just upgraded Jason Dickinson to an 86. <laughs> the man, yo, know, the dude had like 15 points. Oh my god. I was like, oh my god, so dumb sometimes. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I like Jason Dickinson, but not that much. Yeah, I, I thought I was upgrading Robinson, Robertson. I thought I was upgrading Robertson. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry to Jason Dickinson, but uh, you ain't that good.
<laughs> Wait, I can't. You can't be high top six. Yeah, I th I thought I was upgrading Jason Robertson because I saw the sun at the end, so I just assumed. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, Jason Robertson. All right, let's upgrade this kid. Let's make him something else. I can't believe I messed that up. That's so funny. Like I was upgrading this kit. I was upgrading Jason. Ro I mean, I was up upgrading Jason Dickinson, not Jason Robertson. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. There we go. I think 85 to start is fair. Because sometimes people have really good rookie seasons and kind of just cap out after that. So I think 85 is fair. High top six potential. We'll see what he does with it. We get the power is in his hands. Bro, Joel Kibiranta as a sniper. Really? Nah, two way forward. Bro, when you're in the depth rolls like that, when you're killing penalties, if you're killing penalties, man, you're a depth, you're a two way. Kaprizov 2, 87. I mean, I don't know. I think Kaprizov earned a little, like a slight edge over him, right? I think the argument is there. Because um, <clears throat> we already edited Minnesota, I think, right? Kaprizov's an 88 high elite. All right, maybe I can upgrade Dickinson a little. I mean, uh, <laughs> not Dickinson. Maybe I can upgrade Robertson just a little bit more. Maybe I can upgrade Robertson just a little bit more. Um, I didn't realize how high I made. Uh... There you go, 86. Whoops. Ah, let's give him a Sally if he doesn't already have one. It's a little guitar solo in there. But, uh, yeah, man, this team is going to be scary once they have everyone back. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, Detroit. Moving on to the Detroit Red Wings. My goodness. I think we lost Iconic. I think Iconic got mad at me for making my overalls the way I was doing it. Alright, well, it's going to be very hard to justify upgrading anybody on Detroit. Philip Heronic led the team in points. <laughs> Philip Hronik led the team in points. The man, my man's ain't even on the team. Oh, there he is. 82 overall, Philip Hronik led the team in points. Eighty-two overall, Philip Peronik led the Detroit Red Wings in points this year. Oh my, good. Ah, oh, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can't believe Philip Peronik led their team in points. Oh my God, dude! How do I justify upgrading anybody on their team? If not downgrading everybody on their team. Jacob Rana was good for them though. Wasn't he? Point per game player, a plus one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna upgrade Jacob Rana, but about, other than that, that's I mean uh, no one? How do I justify upgrading anybody on this team? Verana is goaded. Yeah, Veron is pretty good. But other than him, dude. He's... Yeah, I don't get it. Like, I don't know why so many offensive players in this game have such high defensive awareness, too. I think it's literally just for the overalls. I think EA just does it for the overalls. Straight up. Um. So there you go. Our boy Jacob Verona gets a nice boost. For the little time he was there for the end, Verona played better than in Washington. Yeah, I agree. High top six, I think, is quite fair. But other than that, man, everybody on this team deserves a downgrade. Even even Lark, Larkin only had 20... No, Larkin had 23 points. 
Larkin had a bad year. Larkin had a really bad year, guys. Oh my goodness. I have to downgrade him. I have to downgrade him a little bit. I have to. He had a really bad year. I thought Larkin didn't play much. No, he played 44 games. He was there enough. Okay, whoa, 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 80. <sighs> what? How did I make him that low? Hey, Jad, what's up? 87 for who? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> what do you mean 87? 87 who? I'm confused. Larkin? No, Larkin had a really bad year. He only had 22 points. Or 23 points. It was awful. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. How did you do, my friend? Was Tyler Bertuzzi even in this year? 85 for Larkin? Yeah, 84 is fine. He's fine. He's still medium elite. He'll grow. Tyler Bertuzzi didn't play, but... Uh, I'm making him a medium top six power forward. I think uh, I think Larkin missed Bertuzzi this year. I think Larkin missed Tyler Bertuzzi. That's probably what it was. That's probably what it was, honestly. Maybe I maybe I was a little harsh on uh, Larkin. He had no other. He had no one around him. It's in, I mean, the ball's in his court now. I mean, uh, Hirona gets a little bit of an upgrade because he did have 26 points. That's a little plus, right? That's a bit of a plus for them. It's a little bit of a. A little bit of an upgrade, right? 86 maybe in all the shooting categories. Just a little just a little thing to make him a bit happier with what he did to this year. Eighty-four for uh Heronic, I think is quite fair. But everyone else, I'm just gonna leave as is, because I mean they did not have a good year, and I think everyone else can just kinda stay. Glenn Denning led the league in face off percentage for a while. Did he actually? Yo, he's at 60.9%. My man had a plus three on this team until Bergeron pulled up. <laughs> yeah, Bergeron's pretty good. There you go. Ah, he's, like, he's at a 90 face-off, so that's fair. He was at 87 before. I give him a 90. Luke Glendenny. He has a plus three on this team, so I'll, I'll give him that. Uh, Detroit goalies. Honestly, Jonathan Bernier deserves all the love in the world. My guy is a legend. He had a 9-14 on Detroit. He had a 9-4. I'm going to give him at least an 84. Maybe an 85. Like, you watch some of those games, dude. He's saving 50 shots sometimes. Like, he's good. <laughs> the poor guy. He's very consistent, too. The poor guy got left out to dry all year long. My God. Thomas Grice had a 9-12. Thomas Grice had a 9-12? Wow, they both played really well this year. Let me give Grice like an 83. They both played really well. They had losing records, don't get me wrong. They had losing records, but they both played well. Calvin Picker was awful. Although he had a winning record somehow, but he was still bad. So let's downgrade him. 78, there you go. All right, so that's Detroit. Detroit was pretty easy to edit. They were just bad, and that's all you need to know. Uh, Edmonton made the playoffs, so we're not going to touch them. Florida made the playoffs. LA, we already edited. Minnesota, we already edited. Montreal, we already edited, but uh, I'm going to have to redo that after the playoffs because Carey Price is looking higher than an 86 right now, and some of these guys are looking worse than what they are playing. Um, so Nashville, <clears throat> wait, no, they made the playoffs. Uh, New Jersey, I don't think we edited. Did we edit New Jersey, guys? I don't think so. I don't think we edited New Jersey, so let's go with New Jersey. So let's start with the goalies. Wait up, Peterson in LA. He's an 84, what's up? 
What's up? It was good. Ooh, tired. All right, Mackenzie Blackwood only had a 902. Ooh, ooh. Blackwood up? My man had a 902. Man's had a 902. I'll leave him as is then, because I think down, you think up. We'll leave him as is. Aaron Dell, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You ain't no 82 overall. Aaron Dell's a third string goalie at best right now, so. Scott Wedgwood had a 900 save percentage. Three, eight, and three. Man, the Devils were not good this year. How is, okay, yo, how do you justify having Aaron Dell be better than Scott Wedgwood? Esports, get your stuff together. Get your shite together, man. What the hell? 79, I think, is fair. Because, like, Aaron Dell had played five games or seven games had an 857. Like, dude, he was awful this year. Whoops. All right, let's move on to the skaters. Then we're going to do, like, a little bit of our franchise mode because I haven't done any simulation in a while, and I kind of want to get some done today. So, New Jersey, let's see what you got to offer. Pavel Zaka led your team in points. Huh. It's one of those years, eh? It's one of those years. He deserves, he deserves an upgrade. What can I say? He deserves an upgrade. In 50 games, he had 35 points. I don't even know who you should up. Devils are kind of bad overall. Yeah, I agree, but Zaka gets an upgrade. He showed some progress this year that uh, I don't think anyone thought he would. 51 face-off percentage. A5 watching. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Holy macaroni. <laughs> what the heck? Where's everyone coming from? The Vegas game? Did it end? <clears throat> did the Vegas game end or something? All right, Pavel Zaka gets a nice little upgrade. Jack Hughes. Where's Jack Hughes? He's fine where he is. Jesper Bratt had a pretty good year. I'll upgrade Jesper Bratt a little bit. Just a wee bit. Ah, they all left. Oh, well. All right. Um, strength, acceleration, balance. Just give him a slight upgrade. I think he earned it. He only played 46 games this year. He had 30 points. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good year for Jesper Bratt. Oops. Could you do Montreal, or are you not doing playoff teams? I mean, I already did Montreal. I already did Montreal, but I'll happily take a look at them again if you want. I'll happily take a look at Montreal again. Uh, anybody else need an upgrade on New Jersey? Don't think so. Ryan Murray had a good year. He's already an 83, which is already kind of high. I think New Jersey's fine, right? Like that, like they're not crazy good. So, Nico Hishier, did he even play this year? He was okay when he played, so I'll leave him as is. So this is what I did with Montreal. I boosted Petrie. I lowered Weber. I boosted Edmondson a little bit because he has a plus 28 on the season, and that's much better than anybody else on our team, that's for sure. But this is what I do with the Canadians. Toffoli 86, Suzuki 85, Gallagher 85, Tatar 85, Weber 84, Edmondson 83, Petrie's a two-way defenseman, 88 overall now, um, Duran 83, Deno 82, Anderson 82. Maybe I could boost Anderson. I think Anderson's a little low. <clears throat> I think Josh Anderson's a little low. As long as you get that speed up there, his body checking, puck control up there. Yeah, I think I did pretty good on Montreal too. I'm just gonna boost Anderson's speed. I'm gonna lower his defensive awareness a little. Oh, I'll lower his offense awareness then. There you go, I think that's fair for Anderson. 
Thank you for upgrading Petri. He needed that. Oh, of course. My guy. I, I got you. I, I've i hated how under... They had him at a defensive defenseman for the past... I mean, forever, really. They had him listed as a defensive defenseman. It drove me insane. I hated it. I hated it. The man quarterbacks our power play, pretty much. But I can't justify having him as an offensive defenseman because he's not. He's a 2A. He, he's a, two -way. He's a thoroughbred 2A defense. But I think, I think Montreal is pretty fair. The way I see Montreal as a Habs fan is you have Jeff Petrie, who is kind of like above everyone else, and then everybody else on the team is a mix of second slash third liners. Like, we have four lines of second slash third line players, basically. With a few fourth liners in there, like Lekkonen, you know, Evans, stuff like that. But like, they're like fringe third. So, like, you have like fringe third and second line play players on every single line. That's. Lol, a defensive EA is so lazy. Yeah, I know. I know. They had him as a defense. I mean, I should probably boost price, right? 86 is a little low. Right? I, I don't know. Actually, wait, how about this? How about this? I'll leave price at an 86. I think that's fair for how he played this year. Poise 99. The guy is something else in the playoffs. Like, how about that? Regular season price and... Playoff price are now a thing in EA Sports. There we go. I made that happen. Montreal's team is honestly not that bad. No, I, I agree. But I'm just saying, like, we're literally four lines of second slash third liners. I'm going to leave him as an 86. I'm kind of curious how the sim's going to work. Although, 86, yeah, I guess he is better than Allmark, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm just trying to reward good seasons, because, like... It just seems like it's like a namesake, you know what I mean? Like, Gibson had a bad year, Marsham had a bad year, Price had a bad year, but because they're those players, their overalls aren't going to change. You know what I mean? Just because they're those players. Wait. There we go. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. So let's hop into some simulation. Uh, yeah, you need him higher than Allmark. Exactly. So he's going to be slightly higher than Allmark because Allmark did have a good season, but Price is, uh... <laughs> Price's poise is 99, so I think that's fair. The dude shows up when the game's... When the game's on the line, there is no other goal you want in your net. I guarantee you. Ask any player in the league who they'd... I mean, other than their own goalie because, like, no one's going to go against their own goalie, but ask anybody in the league and they're going to tell you, yeah... We won't care for ice in the net. Anyway, that's going to do it for the uh, episode of uh, roster fixing. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But uh, I'm going to head into an episode of Edmonton Oilers GM mode. So let me just do my intro real quick and uh, we'll hop into it. <laughs> 